this video is going to be about how to get a six pack. Who doesn't want a six pack? Everybody wants a six pack. The problem is there's been a lot of misleading information out there about how to actually accomplish this task. Think about what you see on TV and in the gym. You see the ab machine, you see all these ab toys, you see all these infomercials with these ripped dudes that got paid who knows what, doing all these ab crunches and thinking that, oh, if I do that, I'm gonna look like that too. Human logic says, I need to work on my abs so that I can get abs. Well, in reality, that's a very, very small piece of the puzzle. We're gonna go into why that is and what you need to do to get a six pack. So to get a six pack, let me keep it simple. There's gonna be two different things you need to focus on. There's two different tissues that you actually have the ability to control, which is gonna be number one, your fat tissue, your adipose tissue. Number two is gonna be your muscle tissue. You can control those two things in your body. You can. So, and here's why. Let's go into the fat tissue. Fat tissue, your number one goal to get a six pack should be, I need to reduce my body fat. Without having reduced body fat, your abs are just gonna be covered up by adipose tissue. You don't want that. You don't want to see the abs. There's a special formula for losing body fat, reducing your body fat. And what that is, is good calories in minus the right exercise out. So you gotta be doing the right exercise, you gotta be putting the right food in your body. If you're in a deficit, which means you're burning more calories doing the right exercise, then you're gonna be on your way to reducing your body fat. Now 2,000 calories a day of Snickers bars aren't gonna be the same as 2,000 calories a day of the right foods, which if you email me, I'll send you a list of awesome foods that you can start incorporating into your diet. In the step two part of the equation, is you gotta be thinking about muscle tissue. You gotta be building the muscle in your abs, you gotta build the right muscle. Have you ever seen like the guy on the ab crunch machine that's doing the crunches and he's lifting a lot of weight and he's trying real hard? Well, when he's trying really hard like that, he's bulking up his abs. You don't wanna have bulky, big, thick abs. Like you wanna have washboard, slick, nice, ripped abs. So what you wanna focus on is body weight, high repetition and stability work. If you're doing all three of those, then you're gonna be on your way to building the right muscle for the abs to get the rip look that you're looking for. Another reason you need to be doing high repetitions is think about this. You have two different types of fibers. You have your type one fibers and you have your type two muscle fibers. So your core is mainly your type one muscle fibers. Your type one is like endurance based type one fibers. That's what they do. It's more longevity, like stability. It would make sense to train your abs like they are uh, endurance type fibers. Working out about five to six days a week, setting aside about five to 10 minutes just to work on your abs. I'm not talking overkill. You don't want to be killing your abs so much that you can't do them the next day, but doing them frequently, most days of the week, hitting abs. So work that into your routine, and I know you're going to be a lot closer to getting that six pack. So, there you have it guys. Those are my tips to get a six pack. That's how you get it. It's not just a one stop shop and it is gonna take work, but I know you can do it. Don't get demotivated. Don't just give up after two months of not seeing abs. Stick with it, reduce the body fat, build up the muscle underneath your abs, and then you're gonna be well on your way to getting that six pack that you deserve.